ready to explore a world of sculpture and the creations of famous artist Albin Palaszczuk. Visit the Albin Palaszczuk Museum and Sculpture Gardens and take a tour with your class or family soon. On your visit, you'll discover who is Albin Palaszczuk? Learn what materials, also called media, artists can use to create sculptures. See figures of playful mythological creatures that reminded Palaszczuk of the old world fairy tales from his childhood. We call these Slavic deities or gods. There's a whole world to discover if you look, listen, and let the sculpture speak. Above all, we want you to know that Albin Palaszczuk was an artist and a teacher who wanted to share his sculpture with the world, which is why he opened his home as a museum, so that everyone has the chance to enjoy art. Albin Palaszczuk was born across the ocean in a European country that we now call the Czech Republic. Albin was born well over a hundred years ago. In his hometown, called Frenstadt, a small mountain village, Albin Palaszczuk would draw whenever he had a chance and showed his artistic talent when he was just a child. He taught himself how to carve wood as a young boy. This is his first complete sculpture he carved as a 15-year-old. Nevertheless, Albin had big dreams. In 1901, he decided to come to America, the land of the free. Now in his early 20s, Albin was a strong young man and luckily found a job carving wood figures for churches and cathedrals. He learned to speak English and saved the money he earned so that he could go to one of the best art schools in the country, the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Art. There he learned about classical sculpture. Albin learned about the ancient Greek people who lived thousands of years ago, back in the 8th century BC. These brilliant early artists were pioneers of a new way of depicting the human form, with naturalism and the illusion of weight. This was so groundbreaking because until that time, most of the sculpture did not look like real people at all. We call this early first period archaic, and the figures were often blocky and stiff, without detail or accuracy. At the Art Academy, Albin was instructed on anatomy, the study of the human body, much like a doctor would learn. After he finished his studies, he became a well-known artist hired to create portraits of famous people called busts. Albin began a long and successful career doing the thing he loved the most in the world, being an artist. He made beautiful decorative sculptures for private homes and carvings for grand estates. And he also sculpted and carved figures for many cathedrals and churches throughout the Midwest. Albin became so skilled, in fact, that by the time he was 37 years old, he was asked to become the head professor at a top art school in the country, the Art Institute of Chicago. As a teacher, he taught his students to look and model figures as they really appear and to sculpt in the round with a 360 degree experience, like life is. As you tour our museum, you may come across sculptures that are nude or aren't wearing clothes, this is because of Albin Palaszczuk's classical education and training. We know that Palaszczuk was a master artist because we can see every muscle, bone, curve, and line is in exactly the right place. Imagine if you were asked to draw a foot. Your task would be impossible to achieve if the foot was covered up with a shoe. How could you see the details? Simply put, you can't. You need to see, study, and look at the anatomy. Palaszczuk's style also contrasts to abstract artists who distort and alter shapes and forms, as seen in Pablo Picasso's Portrait of Women. Palaszczuk, however, always stayed true to capturing an accurate likeness of the human body. Albin loved to teach and cared about his students, and taught happily in Chicago for almost 30 years. During this time, he made some of his more recognizable and famous works of art the Spirit of Music Monument for the city of Chicago. Radagast, a Slavic lion-faced god on top of a mountain next to his home village in the Czech Republic. And monuments honoring important people and politicians, such as the Governor Yates Memorial at the Illinois State Capitol. But Palaszczuk's most recognizable sculpture is a larger than life-sized portrait of our 28th American president, the Woodrow Wilson Monument in the capital city of the Czech Republic, Prague. 
you can see the bust or the head and shoulders of this giant work right here in Winter Park, Florida on your historic home tour. When Palashik retired from teaching, he moved to Winter Park, Florida and designed his home and studio himself and moved into the finished building in 1950. Our museum is a special place, not only because of the beautiful sculpture, but also because Albin Palashek lived and worked here, on this very site. He created many of the sculptures on display here in his studio. We aren't just a historic home, but also a place where great art was created. Albin Palashek was a proud Czech immigrant who loved his adopted country, the United States of America, and represents a true American success story. Come discover Albin Palashek's amazing story at our museum and sculpture gardens, where our artist carved his own destiny.